Lady, come, please. He looks like he could sell pretty much anything. And, okay, he does. Are you talking to me? Yes, yes, you. You see anybody else around? Didn't think so, no. Welcome to Bear Shop in Venice. Anything you're looking for, I provide. Except drugs. Competition too strong. I don't want any drugs. Look, I'm new to this place, and I'm wondering if you... No shit. You fit right in. Now, what can I get you? I'm not looking to buy anything right now. Well, this is shop. Place of business. No loitering. I'm not loitering. You called me over here. <sighs> details, details. So, you need any help? I'm looking for a place called The Fringe. Ah, The Fringe. So you know where it is? I certainly do. Well, could you tell me, please? <sighs> yes, yes. Keep pants on. Very close. Go to other side of Crossroads, find Via Milano, go through Tunnel to Florence Square, and there you are. On the other side? Thanks. You are most welcome, and good luck. It's a buzzer. Yeah? Hello, is Charlie there, please? Who is this? My name's Zoe. I'm a friend of Reza. I'm looking for him. I think he might have been here. I don't know anybody named Reza. Sorry. Goodbye. Wait. He's a reporter. Goes by the name Jericho. <sighs> All right. Come on in. Yes, can I help you? I'm looking for Charlie. He's down there past the bar. Mm. Thank you. Whatever. That's the hostess. Not the most welcoming person I've ever met. Charlie's right over there. Where's Charlie again? He's right over on the other side of the bar. It's not like he's hard to find or anything. The place is kind of quiet, isn't it? Look, it's a cocktail lounge, not a cafe. Right now it's the middle of the afternoon. Things heat up around midnight and everyone stays until sunup. Right. That makes sense. So, have you worked here long? What are you doing? What? Why are you asking me questions? Uh, no reason. OK, so stop. It's annoying. Thanks. Uh-huh. Bonsai tree. I like that whole Japanese theme they've got going on here. Scented. Vanilla and champagne. Excuse me, are you Charlie? Yeah, Zoe, right? You said you're a friend of Jericho's? That's right. Has he been here? How do you know Jericho? We go way back. If you're such good friends, why do you need to track him down? Can't you just call him? It's a long story. Jericho's investigating a story and he's gone subterranean. His mobile's off. He may be in danger. I need to find him. Look. Charlie, he left me a message with your name in it. It's the only clue I have to go on. All right. I believe you. I spoke with Jericho a couple of days ago. He called me, asked me some questions. I answered them. That's all. I really didn't want to get mixed up in anything. I have a business to run, and my customers don't like publicity. Sorry, girl. I wish I could help, but that's everything I know. If 
you have any information, it, it would be worth a lot to me. Is that so? Like what? Money? Or are you offering me something else? Like yourself? I, I, I'm not... You don't need to answer that, girl. I get it. You must love this guy a lot. That's all I needed to know. Look, your friend, he was here last night. He said some things shouldn't cross the wire. He wanted to know about this place I used to live in, a place called the Border House. The Border House? It was a boarding house for students, run by an English lady, Fiona. That's where Jericho got my name from. The place has been turned into a hotel now, the Victory Hotel. Shady place. Jericho wanted to know everything about the building. Entrances, exits, floor plans, the works. He didn't tell me, and I didn't ask, but my guess is he was planning to break into the place. Why? There are stories. They say the place isn't really a hotel, but some kind of front for... I don't know, and I don't want to know. Like I said, there are stories. What kind of stories? Look, I get all sorts in here. I hear things. But if I start shooting my mouth off, I get burned. I lose my customers. I lose my business. Hell, with some of the people that come in here to party, I could lose a lot more than that. So don't get me wrong. I would love to help you. But like I told your friend, I can't say much more than that. I understand. So Jericho was interested in the layout of that place. What did you call it? The Border House. Victory Hotel. Yeah. I told him there are canals running underneath the building and that there's a backyard. Since they drain the water, you can use the canals to get around. There might be a way into the building from the back. And Jericho, he went there last night? I honestly couldn't tell you, girl. We spoke, he left, haven't heard from him since. OK, well, I guess that's a start. Victory Hotel. Do you own this place? Nah, I just run it. I used to own it, though. Bought it cheaply right after the collapse, hoping business would pick up again. It never did. I managed to sell it eventually, and the new owners hired me back to manage it. With the new capital, we turned the business around. We're one of the hottest places to go in Newport right now. We get VIPs from around the world. They scram in, party, leave the next morning. Funny thing is, 10 years ago, this was a popular student hangout, the Fringe Cafe. I worked here as a bartender. This neighborhood, Venice, it was a great place to live. We used to think it was the center of the world. And it was, for a while. Different world, different times. The collapse changed a lot of things. Hell, it changed everything. Have you lived in Venice all your life? Feels like that sometimes, but no. I came here for school when I was 19. The Venice Academy of the Visual Arts. It was famous. Still is, but uh, for very different reasons. Back then, it was the best art school in the city. After the collapse, I lived uptown for a while. I needed to get as far away from Venice as I possibly could. Place has gone to hell the past decade, even more so than the rest of Newport. I don't live here. No one lives here, not if they have a choice. What did you study at the academy? <laughs> I'll tell you if you promise not to laugh. I studied dance. You did? I was a kid. I believed that with enough passion, I could do anything I wanted. I had such faith in myself and in the world. But faith and passion alone will only carry you so far before reality sets in. I hung in there for a while, but money was tight. I had to drop out and find a job. When that happens, you got to face up to the facts. Your life ain't gonna turn out the way you hoped it would. And your dreams, they don't matter so much anymore. You lose faith, but life goes on. Besides, look where it got me in the end. I've done well for myself. I'm a happy man. Giving up on your dreams isn't necessarily such a bad thing. Where is the Victory Hotel? It's on a street called The Brink. Walk to the other side of the crossroads, past the Chinaman store, you'll get to a bridge called the Rialto. Cross the Rialto to get to Marco Polo. Marco Polo will take you to the brink. 
Victory Hotel's on the end of the brink. Big gray building, wooden door, bench out front. I think there's some scaffolding still left from the construction work. That might help you get down into the canals, but I haven't been around there in a while. Thanks, Charlie. I appreciate all your help. You're welcome, girl. Let me know if you find your friend, all right? Charlie seems like a really nice guy. Nice and warm. I can feel my hands and toes again. Well stocked store or garbage dump. I can see the point of using these barrels now. Every day since the collapse has been a struggle. Why do I keep going? I mean, what's the point? Another homeless guy. Nice and warm. Nice and warm. I don't talk to outsiders. You think just because you got proper clothes and clear skin, you're better than us? The Syndicate can't help you if you get into trouble down here. I don't talk to outsiders. Casablanca may be a bit dull, but I'm so glad I live there and not here. Another cold and rainy day in Newport. And to make things worse, my arthritis is acting up. I can't afford any procedures. I can't even afford medicine. Not so long ago, these useless hands taught Hollis Gulpton at Vava. Did you know Emma de Freeher was once a student of mine? She's a really famous sculptress now. They moved Vava out of Venice, which is ironic. And they downsized every department. Kicked me out with a day's notice. Bastards. Another cold and rainy day in Newport. And to make things worse, my arthritis. Can't afford any procedures. I can't even afford medicine. It's locked. I'm guessing that's the front entrance to the Victory Hotel. Not very inviting, is it? When I find you, Reza, I'm giving you a big hug. And then you're buying me new shoes and pants. And a very big cup of hot coffee. A back door. That's probably where Reza got in. It's a digital padlock. It looks pretty new. Yes. Hey, 
Hey, it's me. I found out where Reza was last night. A place called the Victory Hotel. But I need your help. Sure. What do you need? Don't freak out. I need to disable a padlock. I won't ask. What does it look like? Black, nondescript, blue light, a small display, your standard padlock. No keypad, so I'm guessing it only works with a key. Can I hack it? Sorry, sweetie. Those things aren't usually wired. They operate on short-range frequencies. You need to get close, and you need a lockpick. What kind of lockpick? Anything reasonably modern should be able to take care of it, unless it's really heavy-duty stuff. I don't think it is. It's just a padlock on a fence. Any lockpick will do, as long as it's got multiple frequencies and a universal interface. Most do. I'll try and find one. Thanks, Liv. Hello. Ah, you're back. What you need now? I need to pick a padlock. Ooh, very exciting. Breaking into private property. Very good, very good. No explanation needed. I'm not tearing anyone. But sorry, can't help you. Also out of lockpicks. I thought you said you can provide anything, except for drugs. You very funny girl. I like you. Okay, okay. I might have something in stock for you. It's refurbished, but good as new. In fact, better than new. Can pick most locks made in past 15 years. I'll take it. How much? Way, way. May look like charitable old fool, but this not cheap. Only one I got. You good customer. But lockpick more valuable than money in Venice. Please, I really need this. There must be something you can do to help me out. Hmm, don't know. All men want to help. Maybe we can make trade. I don't have anything to trade. All I have is my mobile. No mobile. I got too many already. Cheap. Made in China. Top quality. So what do you want to trade? Please, help me out here. Mobile not very interesting. But my customers, they paranoid. They like to be invisible. If I could make mobiles invisible... Like some kind of cloak for mobiles? Yes, yes. That could be worth a lot to me. Definitely worth trading away last lockpick. Zoe, 
Zoe, is that you? Did you find a lockpick? Sort of. Need your help. Sure, sweetie. What do you need? I'm trying to lockpick from this merchant. But he doesn't want money. He wants software. I got software. What does he want? Remember that cloak you gave me? Could I get a key of that which would work on other mobiles? Not the same one. I wouldn't give that to just anyone. But I have another software cloak. It's not as powerful as yours, but it's good stuff. I'm sending it to you as we speak. I'm sure he'll be ready to do business when he sees this thing. It's pretty neat. I got it. Thanks, Liv. You're the best. You're not wrong, sweetie. Good luck, okay? I'll talk to you soon. You back already? Got something to trade? Something good? I've got just what you need. It's a small program for your mobile. For any mobile. It disguises the phone and makes it hard for the eye in the sky to track it. Interesting. Something like that is very hard to find. Show me. I'll transfer it over. Very nice, very nice. This is some good stuff. Where you get this? I never seen nothing like this before. This will make my customers very happy. Good. So we have a deal? Yes, yes, we have a deal. Here is lockpick for you. Please to do business. Very pleased. He's a friendly guy. Hi. Surprise, surprise, she's back. So you need something? What did you mean about drugs and competition? Drug markets very dangerous in Venice. Venice very dangerous. Not a good place for young lady. Especially not pretty young lady. I don't plan on staying. Well, you hurry and do what you need to do. Then get out, quickly. I haven't seen any gangs around. Oh, they're here. The biggest one, they are the Shakespeareans. Stupid names, stupid clothes, very, very big guns. But they're just kids. Make a few yuan selling drugs, and all of a sudden, they big men. Crazy world. They say joining gang is best way to survive. I say joining gang is best way to get yourself killed. Thank you. Next time you buy something. A padlock.
an eyelid, despite the racket. It's an axe. There's light coming through that boarded up window. There's a metal bar on the side. It looks like it's connected to the wheel. There's a metal bar on the side. I think I can push it even further. There's a metal bar on the side. probably leads into the hotel basement. Oops, I dropped the axe inside. Smells like petrol. I don't smell anything, but there's definitely something inside. Water, maybe. There's nothing in this one. It's empty. Smells like petrol. I don't know what that's for. God, that's Reza's lighter. Zoe. That girl, is she here? Find April Ryan, save her. Green 
1. That must be the room number. I think... I think she wants me to go open that closet in room 201. Is that what brought Reza here? Solid. I don't think it's possible to break through this one. It looks brand new, too. Like it's been installed recently. Someone's rehydrating and heating a pizza. Looks like there's still a bit left on the clock before it's done. If I reprogram the timer, I can make the alarm go off almost immediately. Ah, yeah. Pizza's done. Bad income. She's connected to one of those things I saw in Reza's apartment. What is it doing to her? What's all this equipment for? What is that for? I wonder what that thing does. No. I need to focus on finding Reza. Two oh one. This is it. The room the little girl was in. I took the handle off. What's all this equipment for?
How he can sleep on that filthy sheet is beyond me. But then he doesn't look too clean himself. Looks like medical equipment. still stay out of his way, just in case. An old radiator. They probably use plasma heating elements in the rooms now. I can't tie the rope to the radiator unless I open the window first. An old radiator. They probably use plasma heating elements That's room 201, the one the little girl was in. It looks like someone lives there. That is Charlie. And those two girls? Maybe this used to be Charlie's room. But why did the little girl point to his closet? What's his connection to all of this? Shit! What the fuck are you doing here? This is my room! Get back to... Wait. I don't know you. Who the hell are you? Don't talk to me like that. Who are you? Who am I? Who am I? I am the fucking supervisor, that's who. Now who the fuck are you? I told you, don't talk to me like that. Fuck you! Ah, oh, fuck! Fuck! You punched me! Well, you attacked me. Jesus, I wasn't gonna do nothing! You punched me in the nose? Fucking hurts! Ah, oh, shit, shit, my face! Yeah, well, you're lucky it's just your face. I'm Black Belt. So what the fuck do you want from me? Ah, oh, fuck! Fucking hurts! I'm looking for a friend of mine. He was here last night, looking for information. Maybe he talked to some people, I don't know. Point is, I need to find him. If he's been here, maybe you know where he went. I don't know. I, you, you'll come in here and you punch me in the face? I should fucking... Ugh. What's his name? Reza. Reza Tamiz. Yeah? So what's in it for me? I won't punch you again. Okay, I'll pay you. 500 if you can get me any information about what's happened to him. Another 500 if you help me find him. 1,000 wise. If you help me find him. I'm good for it. Hmm. Looks like it. So this guy must be real important to you. You screwing him? I don't need another excuse to kick your ass. Jesus! All right, can't a guy ask? Christ, you're touchy. Okay. I could use a thousand just about now. So, so what's this guy's name again? Rez what? Reza Tamiz. He's about your height, black hair, tanned, probably well-dressed. He was here last night. I, I'll see what... It's, it's a thousand, right? Would you give me the 500 up front? No. You get your money when I get the information. If you don't want to do business, I'll... Fine. So how do I contact you? Do you know the Fringe? 
Who doesn't? I'll be there tonight. Yeah, sure you will. You know how difficult it is to get an invite? It's like a two-year waiting list. Just come back here later, and we'll... No, the Fringe. I've got connections. I'll make sure you're on the list. No fucking way! That's awesome! If you told me that right away, sweetheart, I'd have found your friend for free. Okay, so I'll see what I can dig up. A fringe? Fuck. Awesome. All right, so we got a deal. Come on, I'll let you out the front. DNA lock. Unbreakable shit. Yeah, this place is an impenetrable fortress. Two oh three. Looks like medical equipment. No, I need to focus on finding Reza. I'll check around, see what I can find. Now, tonight, the Fringe. You're not trying to con me or anything. I'm very serious. This friend of mine, he means a lot to me. Whatever. As long as I'm on the list and you got the cash. Uh, uh, wait. What was your name again? Zoe. What's yours? Marks. You don't have a last name? No. Do you? <laughs> You're a player, Zoe. I'll give you that. Okay, Marcus. Thanks, I'll see you later. Not sure I want to find out what's up there. The fringe. Yeah. Hi, it's Zoe Castillo again. May I come in? Of course. Hey, you're back. Surprised? You look like you could take care of yourself, so no, not really. Did you find your friend Jericho? His name's Reza. And no, not yet. But I have a lead. Good, I hope you find him. He seemed like a nice guy. How long ago did you say you lived at the border house? Ten years. Why? It must have changed a lot. 
It was a horrible place. There was one room that looked okay, but the rest of it, ooh, just horrible. Ten years is a long time, girl. The world can change completely in a decade. You haven't heard from Reza again, have you? Sorry, girl. If he calls, I'll let you know. Thank you, Charlie. For what? Listen, feel free to hang out here for as long as you want. Maybe your friend will stop by again. Could you tell me anything about this picture? That's you, isn't it? Jesus Christ, where did you find this? At the hotel, room 201. I found it in the closet and I figured you'd know. I mean, that is you, right? Ten years and a lifetime ago. Yeah. I can't believe that Graf would still be in April's old room after all this time. April? April Ryan. The girl in the middle. 201. That was her room ten years ago. Did... Did you say April Ryan? Yeah. Why? That name sounds very familiar. You probably got her mixed up with someone else. April vanished back in 09, just days before the collapse. We spent a long time searching for her before we... before I gave up. Emma, on the other hand, she never lost faith. She still thinks April's alive and out there somewhere. Emma's the other girl in the picture. Yeah, they were the two best friends I've ever had. But I haven't heard from Emma in years, April. Let's just say that I don't share Emma's faith in miracles. How did April disappear? Look, I'm not comfortable talking about this. It's private stuff. I need to know, Charlie. I think there may be a connection between April Ryan and whatever Reza was investigating. What? Are you serious? This is gonna sound crazy. I can't even believe I'm telling you this, but... I've heard the name April Ryan recently. I've been seeing things on screens back in Casablanca at the hotel. Strange, creepy things. At first, I figured it had something to do with the static. That might still be the case, but I think there's more to it than that. There's this snowy landscape, a strange black house, a girl... I know it sounds completely insane, but the girl... She speaks to me, directly to me, through the screen. Find her, save her. At first that was all she said, and then... Find April Ryan. Find April, save April. When I was inside that place, the hotel, I saw the girl again. She pointed the way to April's room, to the closet where I found the picture. Jesus. If you're right, if this isn't some kind of sick joke, I need to contact Emma. She still believes April was telling the truth. The truth? About what? Can you stick around, Zoe? I'm sure Emma will hop on the first Vactrax or Scramjet out of Europolis, and she'll want to hear this from you. Once she gets here, we'll tell you the whole story. I promise. Charlie, the April Ryan I've heard of might not be your April. I don't want you to get your hopes up. April disappeared under some very strange circumstances, Zoe. If there's even a tiny chance that this has anything to do with her, we need to pursue it. Okay. I have to wait here for this guy to contact me anyway. Marcus. I met him at the hotel. Marcus? This is starting to sound like a damn family reunion. Marcus was a friend of ours back in the old days, until he got into Amethyst in a big way. Haven't seen him in years either, but I heard he got a job at the, uh, the hotel. Yeah, he's some kind of caretaker. And you're right, it's not a hotel. I saw something while I was there. They're testing some kind of device that hooks up to your head. I've seen it once before. It's probably what brought Reza to Newport. Anyway, Marcus said he'd help me find out what happened to Reza, for a price. I told him to meet me here later. I hope that's okay. No problem. This is the safest place in Newport. Nothing gets in or out without me knowing about it. 
I'll make sure his name's put on the guest list. I'm going to go call Emma, and then I need to take care of some business, but you can just hang out here. I'll have the kitchen make you something to eat. That would be nice. I'm starving. I haven't eaten since the train. You come to the right place. Our sashimi's the best in town. Find yourself a table, and I'll have someone take your order. Thank you. Wait, Charlie? Yeah? You really think Rez is okay? He's an investigative reporter, isn't he? Jericho's famous. I'm sure he's been in worse scrapes. Don't worry, he'll be okay. everything. I know it's not much, and I know it may not even be your April, Ryan, but... It is. It has to be. I don't believe in coincidences, and this would be one enormous coincidence. Well, she could be trying to get in touch with us, Charlie. Maybe she needs our help. Maybe... Don't get your hopes up, Emma. We don't know anything yet. I'm sorry to ask, but... Charlie, you promised you'd tell me what happened to April. Yeah. Yeah, I did. She disappeared under some very strange circumstances. The day she vanished, corporates were after her. I still don't know why. They stormed the house and... Emma got shot. She almost didn't make it. As for April, she made it out. And that was the last we heard from her. But we know she got away. She was identified on security cameras uptown, and we found out later that she had boarded a shuttle to one of the orbiting stations. That's where the cookie crumb trail ends, however. Right after that, the collapse happened, and everything changed. When things returned to normal, we were too busy putting our own lives back together. And by the time we started looking for her again... April was gone. Vanished. If it hadn't been for the things she'd told us, I would have simply believed that she was another victim of the collapse. What things? This is where it gets complicated. She spoke about another world, a sort of parallel magical dimension. We didn't believe... You didn't believe her, Charlie. I never doubted her. Fine. I didn't believe her. I'm still not sure I do, despite the things I saw during the collapse. Wait. April told you that she'd seen another dimension? Not seen. Been to. A place called Arcadia. There was this man. Cortez, a real weirdo. He told April that she had some kind of talent, power, to travel between worlds, and that she was needed. According to what April told us, there are two worlds. This one, and the other one, Arcadia. A world of magic. They exist in parallel, in balance with each other. I never had reason to doubt anything April said before, but even I was skeptical. So after I got out of the hospital, I started digging. And the things she told us, she's not the only one, Zoe. There are others who've traveled and seen Arcadia. It's real. Look, we don't know that. All we know is that some dangerous idiot put ideas into her head, and... I know, Charlie. Have some faith, okay? I know. I can feel it. I've done a lot of research. When you have enough money, even the best-kept secrets are revealed to you. I'm sorry, Emma, but it does sound a bit... Crazy? Delusional? You don't think I've thought the same thing myself? How old were you when the collapse happened, Zoe? Nine? Ten? Ten. And do you remember anything about it? Not really. We were living in London at the time, and our subsection was shut down for several days. My dad, he wanted to protect me. I didn't see much. Most people don't remember, or they pretend to have forgotten. Those of us who saw it, you don't forget something like that. But there were things happening even before the collapse, strange things, like... like dreams leaking through into the waking world. Looking back... Everything I've seen, read, what people have told me, people who had no reason to lie to me, 
I know she was telling the truth, and I believe she's still there. In Arcadia. Okay. Okay, so let's say you're right. The messages I've been getting. You think that winter place is the parallel world April talked about? Arcadia? From what I know, it doesn't sound like Arcadia. But who knows? The question is, who's the little girl, and why is she trying to contact you? After all, you didn't know April Ryan. Her name meant nothing to you until today. Chance brought you here, and if you hadn't found the picture and showed it to Charlie, you would never have recognized April's name. It seems improbable, I know, but Reza is the link. The story he's working on must have something to do with all of this. It's the only explanation I can think of. Your friend, the journalist, you still don't know where he is? No, but with any luck, I might find out later tonight. Actually, Charlie, is there somewhere private where I can make a call? Maybe Reza's tried to contact me. I'm going to try his mobile again and check in with my friend Olivia back in Casablanca in case she's heard from him. Sure. You can use one of the private lounges upstairs. The last one on your left is empty. Thanks. I'll be right back. Emma. Her full name is Emma de Frijo. I read an article about her a while back. She's a performance sculptor. Who are you? Are you anyone? You don't look like anyone. You probably recognize me from colonists. I had a recurring role as a single mother with a dark secret last fall. Everybody loved me. Nice dress. I don't talk to people below my social stratum. Most of the people who come in here are so dull. Rich, powerful, beautiful, dull. I'm thinking about donating all my money away and moving to the Australian outback. They still got some of that left, don't they? Everyone here is wearing the latest styles. I feel a bit underdressed. I'm thinking about donating all my money away and... Hey, beautiful. Wanna ride on my rocket? I'll take you to heaven and back in one night. Rich and beautiful people doing whatever it is the rich and beautiful do. I'm thinking about donating all my money and moving to the Australian outback. They still got some of that left, don't they? Hi, this is Reza. I'm either busy or I'm sleeping. Either way, let me know what's up and I'll call you right back. Thanks. Hi, it's me again. I'm in... I met Charlie and I followed your tracks to the hotel. I found your lighter and there was blood everywhere. I hope everything's okay, Reza. Please call me if you... when you get this message. I'm not about to give up on you, but I need to know that you're not... I need to know that you're okay. Talk to you soon. Bye. Hey, you got yourself a VIP booth? Marcus, I was just about to... Convenient, because I brought some friends along and they'd love to say hello. Cold at all. Actually, 
I don't feel anything. This all looks so familiar. The visions. This is the place from my visions. Hurry! Go! Now! 